Here we go. So this is my just got home from work look. I'm Missy from Missy's Imaginings and welcome. Today I got a new package. Um, so I thought I've never done one of these. Why not do it? So I'm going to open the package and see who's inside. He came all the way from Russia. I'm hoping that he isn't broken. <sighs> but I will say I didn't expect him until the middle of July. So to get him today was pretty cool. My daughter was supposed to be on the lookout for the postman. She wasn't. So she came downstairs, found a note on the porch from the postman, and let me know that she didn't get it. And uh, so I rushed home from work, went straight to the post office, and I know the people there, and there it was. It had made it all the way around the blocks and the, the route back to the post office. So the first thing in the package is hmm, a robe. So here's a robe. Pretty basic robe. So that's the first item. That's okay. It's not the big excitement. Then we have lots of pieces, which is exciting. So lots of pieces. Looks like hands and shoulder and a shoulder cap. I think it's going to be the same body as Jack here. So the body is a resin sole. So I'm excited for that because I like their dolls. So I'm not um, real jazz jazzed about the fact that it's the body, although I like them. But <laughs> the reason I bought this fella is because of his face. So I am quite a nerd. My daughters have turned me into a nerd, as you can probably tell from my Naruto shirt. Um, but the head that comes with this fella is, let's see if he's in here. Oh, he's even still have it. He has his wig on. I'm going to take the wig off, though. I'm not really into this particular character with uh, the wig that's on him, uh, just because it's a King Richard Shakespeare character, which is not why I want the face sculpt, but it is a nice wig. I'll use it for somebody else. But the face sculpt <laughs> that I am excited about is a David Tennant face sculpt. So, of course, he's going to be Doctor Who again. So, I'm excited. So, it looks great. He even has his eyelashes still intact. So, there we go. He's here. I'm pretty excited. So, I saw him and uh, really, really wanted him and waited and waited and waited. And fortunately for me, the price came down and it was still a little, still a little up there. So, I made an offer. So, I was very excited that my offer was accepted. So, I'm very glad that he's here. Then the other part, so I love the body because I love Resin Soul and the David Tennant face is really cool. And then also included is the jewelry for that character, which is really cool, that I probably will not use, of course, for David Tennant, but I will probably put it on Jack. So let's see. So it is a crown, and there's a necklace that goes with it. It looks like the chain is kind of wound around. hope it's not in knots. I don't like getting knots out of chains. Oh, there we go. It's coming undone. So the crown, and I don't know if you can see. I know. Here, we'll hold the the white of the robe up. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So it's a jeweled crown for King Richard, but I like the color, and so I think I will use it for my little elven prince here. We can. There you go. Oh, you look good. Poor Jack still has no clothes. I know, it's bad. I sell all this stuff and, and then sell it and then I don't have anything for me. And uh, my friend Donna told me that has to stop. So now that I have uh, the, the body for, and he's all in pieces, but it looks like everything is here and happy and well, and it was wrapped really well. So I'm glad I'll be putting him together and 
He's got his hooks. I've learned to ask. You know, you buy something and he's not going to be strung. I ask, do you have cords? Do you have hooks? Because I did buy one and he came and he was missing hooks and the elastic was too short and yada yada yada. So, I'll be glad to put him together. Other news. Other news. So, on the website and on Facebook groups, some of them, I have been posting a few things about the little jacket sets with the dresses. The dresses are all done. The jackets are sewn. Many of you have seen those. Um, I just have to do the snaps and the buttons. So I'll get those done. But I did go to Joanne and I bought fabric to make oh, Bobby socks. I'm so excited. So I have little fabrics here that's going to match the coats. So they will have Bobby socks. And along with the Bobby socks, some, here David, sit still, will have some lace. I just got some lace. It's just pretty. Some lace tights or leggings, probably leggings. Um, maybe a couple might have a lace undershirt so that their sleeves will be lace that'll show through the dresses just for variety. It was fun to do that though because the dresses were all made from the same fabric and it was already pre-layered so you move the pattern pieces to a different position and you get different looks. So if you want to see those you can go over there on the website um, missysimaginings.com and check that out. Uh, I won't bring them up here because I'm saving them for a debut. Um, the dolls want to model them. They want to show them off all at once. So I have five girls anxiously awaiting the jackets to get finished and the socks to get finished. I do have their tennis shoes. So everything is ready except for what I have to do. So that's the scoop on those. Um, and then I'll be posting pictures and I'm not sure if they're all going to be for sale or some or if I'll just keep them for a while and I don't know. I don't know, but they turned out really cute. I'm excited about that. Other news is I have lots of fur. So, of course, David has brown hair for Doctor Who. So I got some new brown because I didn't have any brown. Of all the colors, I had no brown. So I got some brown, so I'll be doing his wig. I also have in the makings some more wigs that are for SD size. So I'll have black, which will be like this one. So they're wild and crazy. They're ready to be styled or cut or trimmed or just left. And this one, I think if you comb it on the sides in true Naruto fashion, it actually looked pretty much like Sasuke. <laughs> so anyway, you can style them just for a wig. So they're fun and they do have elastic in them. So I might list a few of those, but I have this black one. I'm have making another black one. I have pink and here's pink. Fun, right? And purple, which looks kind of like mohair. It's like a fake mohair, but I like it because it's got long fur, which enables a person to trim and cut as they want. It's hard when it's already too short to begin with. Then red, just plain red. I love red. Um, I'm making a couple white ones. And I'll have black with red tips. I just thought it'd be fun. So all that's in the works too. So we'll see how my projects go. Um, that's kind of it for now. I just wanted to see if everything was here and if he was in good shape. He is. And of course the face. The face. So yeah, we'll make him a brown wig, crop it short around the ears, make him some 3D glasses, a uh, snazzy suit. Yeah, gotta have a snazzy suit. So there we go. So Doctor Who has arrived, and now I just have to put them together. Uh, one of the gals in one of the groups said, are you going to make a TARDIS? Well, you know, I just might. I don't know. So anyway, welcome to the sewing chat, and uh, thanks for coming by. If you like free patterns, um, if you go to my website, mistiesimaginings.com, and if you're on the phone and on a laptop, it's different. Um, some of the, the apps have just one little menu button at the top and you have to click on that and then it'll give you access to those pages. If you're on a laptop, at the top it'll have the menu buttons. So you want to look at the tab that says free stuff. If you go to that page, it'll show all the items that I have for free. There's paper doll sets, there's sewing patterns, and some coloring crafts. They're all free. You can look at them on the free stuff page. If you see something you like, all you have to do is go and click on the Ready to Print tab, go to the next page, and all those are available. 
as free PDF downloads. So you just click on it and it'll open up as a PDF file and then you just hit print. Uh, they're usually sized for either 8.5 by 11, which is a United States letter size, or 8.5 by 14, which is the United States legal size. Uh, so usually when you pop up a PDF file, the dimensions will be there when you go to print it. So you can tell by looking at the page, the, the regular ones are the letter and then the longer ones are the legal ones. So that's what size the paper is for. And you can just print on those and print them over and over again. I don't care. Enjoy. Have fun. Um, most of the patterns are... I've sewn them maybe once or I haven't even sewn them. And sometimes I'll make a pattern and then I end up having to tweak it a little. So be sure that you use um, an old muslin or an old cotton that you, you like but it's not super important because then if it turns out well, great, you've got something to use. Um, but if it's not quite there yet, you haven't wasted fine fabrics. So I don't want anybody ruining good you know, brocades or anything like that. So try it first. Um, see how you like it. Make sure it fits the way you want it to. Um, then, uh, like I say, try it on there. There is a quarter inch seam allowance that's always in the patterns. And that way you know kind of how to sew those. And if you want them a little bit looser, just, you know, don't go in quite that far. But enjoy. Have fun. Uh, peruse around. Uh, on the blog, there's lots of tutorials and fun things that, you know, just having fun. So thanks for coming by. And hop over there and enjoy the fun freebies. Talk to you later. Bye.